Hi everyone, in this video, we'll be dissecting the course GST 104, the use of library. This course has about six modules, but in this video, we'll be treating module one. And module one contains types of libraries and the services libraries offers. By the ending of this video, you must have not just learned or known the types of libraries and the services they offer, but a quick walkthrough or what the library is all about, where it originated from, and a lot more. With this being said, let's hop right into it. So we have the introduction. You may have visited one or two libraries and use some of their basic services, but there is much more to the library than you can see. This module introduces you to various kinds of libraries with their specialized services. For instance, you may be carrying out a research on an aspect of agriculture as an undergraduate, and you may need to visit a special library such as that of International Institute of Tropical Agriculture IITA in Ibadan, which demands a several service, a, a pardon, which demands a referral service from the library. This module will tell you how to go about it. Also, introduce you to all types of libraries and special services they offer. So we have the unit one, the types of library. So we have the intended learning outcome. Just, just go scroll through that. So we have the concept of library. Before we go into types of libraries, let, let's first understand the concept of library. What does a library mean? What does library, the word library signifies? Okay, let's go straight to it. The word library, which is libraire in French, in Latin, libra, means book. It is an organized connect, collection of resources made accessible to a defined community for reference or borrowing. Could we say library is a community then? It provides physical or digital access to material and may be a physical building or room. That means library is not necessarily a physical room. It may be one, a virtual space or both. A library's collection can include books, periodicals, newspapers, manuscripts, films, maps, print, documents, microphones, CDs, cassettes, videotapes, DVDs, ebooks, audiobooks, databases, databases, and other formats. Liber libraries range in size from a few shelves of books to several million items. In Latin and Greek, the idea of book cave is presented by Bibliotheca. It means library in modern day languages. For example, in French, library is called Bibliotheca. Now we have history slash origin of libraries. The first libraries contain archives of the earliest form of writing, such as clay tablet in cuneiform script discovered in summer some dating back to 2,600 years before Christ. This written archive marked the end of prehistory and the beginning of history. Interesting. According to Zhang, 2011, the earliest discovered private archives were kept at Ugarit. Also, there was evidence of libraries, evidence of libraries at Nepal about 1,900 years before Christ and at Nineveh about 700 years before Christ, showing a library classification system. Private or personal libraries consisting of written books appeared in classical Greece in the 5th century before Christ. In the 6th century, at very close of the classical period, the great libraries of the Mediterranean world were those of Constantinople and Alexandria. From the 15th century in central and northern Italy, libraries of hum 
managed and their enlightened patrons existed. The oldest existing library in China was Tianyi Chamber Library, which was founded in 1561 by Fan Quin during the Ming Dynasty. It had a collection of 70,000 volumes of antique book. In North America, personal collections of books were brought over to the continent by French settlers in the 16th century. The oldest non-personal library on the North American continent was founded at the Jesuit College in Quebec City in 1635. Now we have that types of libraries. One, academic libraries. These are from the name academic. I pre, I pre, uh, my guess is pretty as good as library means for academic activities. These are libraries of academic institutions such as universities, polytechnics, and colleges of education. The purpose of establishing these libraries is to meet the information need of staff and students in the institution they belong. The library is the heart of this institution since all they do revolve around books. Basically, this library supports all academic programs offered in the institutions, functions of academic library, provision of research information resources in line with needs of the staffs and students, provision of information materials as required for academic programs of the parent institution, provision of information resources for reaction and for personal self-development of users. Now, provision of specialized information service to appropriate sections of larger community. What I say earlier, the library could be referred to as a community. That's confirmed it just one more time. Corporations with other libraries at appropriate level for improved and better information service, provision of conducive reading environment. Now we have these, the oldest meaning of the functions of the academic library. Now it's just about providing useful information in timely seasons. Now we have research special libraries. Research libraries are also special libraries. Now we have research library as also special libraries. They are purpose, purposely established to cater for patrons which special and specific interest. Patrons with special and specific interest. Special library says an identified group of users with common and special interest. Now we have special library I established for the purpose of attending to special group of people with common interests. Please let's get that straight. They are privately owned and founded by the organization that established them. The resources of special libraries covered only particular subject area or group of subjects. Now, the information provided by this library to its users is basically on certain fields. Now, it's not like the general field. It's particularly based on a certain field. Now, we have their subjects are usually defined from onset. Now, we have that clearly defined. The information supplied by these libraries to their patrons is usually comprehensive and up to date, mainly for research. Their unique collections emphasize on primary source of information like journal articles, research reports, conference proceedings, and periodical and periodicals. Up-to-date books and electronic materials are also found in research libraries. Examples of special libraries are International Institute of Tropical Agriculture, that's IITA library, Nigerian Institute of Social and Economic Research, and that's NISER. Now we have COCO Research Institute of Nigeria, that's the CRIN, Center for Black and African Arts and Civilization, that's CBAAC. Now we have the functions and services of research slash special libraries. The function and resources of the library must be in line with the primary objective. Just as we have defined earlier that this library has been established to serve particular functions. Now we have the provision of in-house training activities to new users. Using libraries like this might require a prerequisite. You have to know how to navigate through this library so they provide training for their users now we have provision and production of bibliographies now we have provision of current awareness service that's a cas current awareness service to the library client client clients a space must be allocated for cas in libraries for the exhibition of newly published material Provision of literature research, selection and dissemination of information. The librarian must 
no users profiles and send relevant info now that's a good one the librarians must know their users and send them things that will interest them so we have provision of other supportive service such as provision of photocopying printing and so on and so forth now we have the interlibrary loans which is a good one so we have self special libraries perform some other internal and external service such as writing of periodic reports that's a good one also so we have the school library from the name now we have this school library are established in schools they are attached they are attached to primary and secondary schools school library mainly objective is to serve the educational needs of people students and teachers among other resources school libraries particularly have fictions visual materials study kits and rely so we have functions of school materials school i mean functions of school libraries we have collect relevant information resources that will enhance performance of teachers as well as puppies collecting of relevant information to assist to keep the teachers and the pupils abreast so we have develop and create in pupils good reading habits now we have the purpose of this library is to create to help students and the pupils you know have all improved reading habits we have help pupils to improve their vocabulary support academic or school work help teachers and pupils to up to date bring them up to date serve as source of subject information help to train pupils on in the use of reference materials so we have public library from the name public library is a library open to everyone in general you know everyone has access to it it's it's unlike the special library that it's just depends or focus on a particular field public library is a general library now we have there are five fundamental characteristics shared by the libraries now we have the first is that they are generally supported by taxes usually local federal or state government may contribute they are under a board of self a board to serve the public they are open to all community members can access their collections public libraries provide basic service without charge we have the presence of a public library in the community in is an indication that the community is literate okay that's a good one the basic difference between the public and the uh, between a public library and other types of libraries is that the main aim of public library is to provide the information needs of the general public rather than provide the information need of just particular school institution or research population the service of the public library are free they organize reading clubs, storytelling, exhibitions, etc. Users can borrow books and are given access to internet where available. Function and services. I believe from all this, we must have known their functions already. Okay, now let's just talk about their functions in a few minutes. Now we have they cater for social, educational and reactional, I mean, recreational needs of the community. Now we have the co they collect they preserve and disseminate library resources suitable for different categories of people such as children, adults, adults, literate and illiterate. We have they usually engage in repackaging of information using audiovisuals, materials and indigenous languages to render information service to the literate, illiterate class. I mean, they promote recreation and leisure reading. Now, okay, they promote the civic and cultural activities of the community. They create and strengthen reading habits in children for childhood from childhood now we have they support both individual and self-conducted education as well as formal education at all levels they provide adequate information that will improve the knowledge and options of the masses now we have the national library national libraries are specially established by the government of the nation to serve as the preeminent repository of information like a repository is more of a storage of information for that country unlike public libraries we have national libraries rarely allow citizens to borrow books they their collections usually consist of rare valuable or significant works the major mandate of national library is to serve as the memory of the nation being the nation's depository center the are responsible for receiving all copyright publications within the country so we have the functions the the create i mean the act as legal depository and by the bibliographic center of the nation to give advice or library development or organization to any agency of the federal state or local government to have a responsibility for the nation's 
bibliography and development of bibliographic service. The nation's library of Nigeria with the headquarter at Abuja plays a parental role to other libraries in Nigeria. It issues the international standard book ISBN number. I mean, to publishers and authors of books. Now we have the self assessment exercise. I will strongly suggest you go through that and react to the questions and you can submit the questions i mean your answers on the group so we have our conclusions and summaries now we have the use of library excuse me is pertinent to the individual the society the economic growth of the nation now we have the society is dynamic and meeting the change requires constant research research can only be worthwhile when there is repository of knowledge or information we have the summary now to recap okay we have to recap you have learned in this to recap what you have learned in this unit click okay okay you can just click on the video below using the link to paste in the web browser and video summary of what you have read this unit okay can be downloaded and play offline you can also request for the audio version of this tutorial so we move straight to unit two which asks to do a library services in this unit we'll be learning the services the library offers so we have the introduction we have in this unit as i said earlier on the services you are entitled to getting as a user of the library you'll be getting that in this tutorial as we move straight right into so we have the general library service reference services now this is one of the most important services the library offers according to cadre in 2012 a reference service is a personal assistance given by reference personnel which we are referring to as a librarian now to library users in search of information for whether whatever purpose now this service is all about a librarian offering a service reference service to a user a user is somebody who walks into the library and needs assistance with getting a thing or two now li library users and potential users have different reference queries now reference queries on the line reference query simply means why a user is in the library what brought the user to the library everybody comes to the library with different queries queries is what brought you to the library are you in search of a book? Are you in search of a research work? What exactly brought you to the library? That is what the query is all about. Now, we have reference process involves interviewing the reader to enable the reference librarian to articulate the problem of the user clearly. Now, the outcome of the interview will determine what source in the library or outside the library other librarians to use in order to provide now, as you can see, there has to be an interaction. The librarian has to know what exactly the query is all about to be able to be able to recommend a solution to your query. There are different types of queries. They include the following. We have the directional query. This type involves reader's question, reader questioning for a specific location within the library. You want to know your direction, how to navigate through the library you direct it to the librarian most readers especially first time users find the services very useful read reddish slash quick reference question this is when the this is when a reader asks a specific question relating to the use of library materials in the reference section for example what is the population of ghana who was the president of ghana in the year 2000 these are everyday questions that reader regularly ask reference librarians. These questions are easily answered by consulting a specific reference source such as almanacs, bibliography, yearbooks, and um, dictionaries. To answering these types of queries, most librarians have created a special desk called information desk. That's where you go to and ask your information now may you, you make your queries registered such questions now we have readers often need background information or general information on a theme a theme is like a background of a story such questions cannot be met by one single reference source in the library one might need the use of a variety of sources to answer 
the reference question. For example, what is the difference between conventional education and open distance education? The reference librarian may need to consult dictionaries, encyclopedias, and books, indexes, abstracts, and etc. to answer such questions. Now we have research questions. This is a more serious type of reference service. Here the user is faced with a research topic that requires comprehensive references in order to provide literature review. Now literature review is more of the detail of the research questions. Now we have for example to answer a question on the role of the library in national development. Now the user will need to consult a wide variety of resources that will assist him on R in compiling a comprehensive listing of pertinent documents relevant to the topic now in addition the library may refer the user to experts in the field now we have vertical files now in general reference librarians maintain specific source that will meet the local inquiries such an air such as an airline railway bus time ta timetables public holidays local cinema shows and directions within a city source for answering such questions are kept in the reference library kept by the reference librarians and they are referred to as vertical files now they are usually sources of miscellaneous that miscellaneous are maybe unnecessary information or information that not everybody is looking for it is important therefore for reference librarians to keep such resources as map brokers telephones guides etc of town or cities in which libraries are located so we have statistics now we have all records of users query must be well kept the reference librarians by the reference librarians this is to enable the library to know the nature of users queries and get adequate prepared to answer them in future that's the statistics as previous results as as to affect or to influence the um, anticipated results we have the cas current awareness service current awareness service is defined by ashikumas as the establishment of a system receiving publications immediately at receipt selecting information pertinent to the program of organization staff and recording individual items brought to the attention of those persons whose work are related. Now we have the purpose of CAS is to keep users abreast with up-to-date information in their specialized field of interest, which is a good one. The reference librarians achieve this by collecting at all latest documents and by using users profile and send them through telephone calls emails and scan etc now to users materials such as pre prints of papers photocopy of table of contents periodical routings library bulletins can be sent to users now we have current awareness service is not a personalized service thus information provided to users is in broad categories without necessarily targeting a user it might not be niche down in particular information can be provided on journals books conference proceedings these are disa dissertations newspapers and Tests, I mean, and dissertations, newspapers, and magazines in interlibrary loan service. Now, it's one of the services offer. So we have interlibrary loan service. So we have from the name, resource sharing and collaboration is one of the new trend in librarianship. Now, a library may not be able to meet the information needs of all its users due to limited resources. I mean, that that happens. <laughs> and then, so any issue in need of any material that is not available in its library informs the reference librarian who in turn loan such a material from collaborating library for the users interest not an awesome option librarians go to go into partnership and collaboration to enable them share resources such resources must be returned by the reference librarian on or before the date due now we have the lending service the librarian at the circulation session of the library is responsible for charging and discharging of li library resources now it will provide information in this regard to the users for example only registered 
library, users can borrow books and their library resources. Also, potential libraries users are required to register before being permitted to use the library. Now, registration of clients, clients may be manual or computer-based. Now, we have to borrow a book, borrowers ticket from will be filled by users there's a form called borrower's ticket it has to be filled before you can borrow a book now this operation could also be computerized however before you are allowed to go home with the book it must be stamped by it must be stamped definitely with date due stamp there is a slip state due slip that all books available to loan carry in the library now this slip is pasted at the loose leaf at the back of every book on circulation now we have in the library a date due slip usually contains the author's name title of the book date due assess assessing number and call mark we have the example there so we have in order that this book may be put to the best use the book is due on the latest date stamped below and if there is a compromise there's a fine definitely so we have that as that the length of time of a book can be borrowed depends on the library's policy every library has their own policies now the library policy also determines the number of books a user can borrow at a time the number of books the duration of time a, a book can be borrowed differ with students and staff the policy most time gives more time and books to staffs now we have to know what book to borrow the user may check the various catalogs which could be manual or electronic for example an open access catalog that's opac is an electronic catalog now we have opac electronic catalog and open access catalog now we have a can research by subject title or author edc the class mark indicates the location of the book on the shelf we have that as class mark. Once the book is retrieved from the shelf, the user can now go straight to the circulation desk with it for charging. Now we have the reader could return the borrowed book before the date due if he has finished using it. But if he has not finished using it before the expiration date, before the expires, I mean the date given to you is expired, he could go back to the library with the book to renew if such book is not on reserve you know there are some books that might have a lot of reserve so you have you can renew if it still needs the user needs more time to use the book now we have if the user keeps the book after the expiration date at return it must pay the fine of whatever amount as we have here as under nera depending on the library per day no, but they, yeah. the fine is to discourage users from holding tight to libraries materials for long and for them to have consideration for other library users who may also need such book so we have the first day tax the first daily tax of the circulation department is the shelving of all books consulted by the li library users the previous day now this means that you know from the information gathered from the previous day so the books users keep asking of the books in circulation and in demand the showing of such books should be consistent now the library users usually advise to leave consulted books on the reading tables and in the carrels now the circulation staff is expected to gather those books first thing in the morning while statistics is taken of the books consulted by users exactly what i'm what I've, talking about now these books are then arranged on the book truck now we have in a classified order and wheeled to the shelf now where they will be appropriately shelved subject by subject these shelves are usually labeled at other sites front and by sites according to the subjects for example the shelves are labeled for easy navigation so we have the reservation service from what the name says a reservation service is very important in academic and school libraries because they are some material that are heavily used and stands the risk of being stolen or manipulated if the materials are kept on open shelf oh so there's this, this simply says that there are some books that are not 
displayed on the shelf to the public to the users i mean so there are reservations you have to request for such books before they are kind of restricted books you know in order to avoid manipulation of of the books being so based on the fact that they are mostly requested for so we have another one which has user education now user education equips users with adequate knowledge on the use of the library that is very precise and straightforward so we have in case of classroom instruction user education is a credit earning course library activities are integrated with the curriculum of students who are expected to earn credit so that's one of the things to encourage user education and library so we have in the library i mean library activities are integrated with the curriculum of students like you are expected to earn credit now if you use the library you are expected to earn some credit that's what that means so we have specialized all we've been talking about has been a general library service so now we have the specialized library service now we have selective dissemination of information that is sdi this type of service is particularly common in special libraries the main objective of selective dissemination of information sdi in short is to provide users especially in special libraries with information that will promote their research and other day-to-day -day activities with sdi the user is relieved of the problem of Saving through many documents before getting the relevant documents. Thus, the user's time is saved for other purposes. SDI is a customized service which is very common in academic and special service. So we have the SDI service is a, is a personalized service which is unlike the current awareness service that is a group service. For SDI, the library staff on a regular basis searches through a mass literature from which those are of interest to a user are selected and are made available to him or her when there's a request they make their response by getting the request attended to now the librarian must collect the research profile of users this is achieved through giving users a well-designed form there's a form that is presented to the user to help the librarian get the specific need of the user now a well-designed form to fill and a one-on-one -on -one interview by the librarian with the users now these are good options to help the librarian navigate through and getting the queries of the user with little or no time the librarian who keep complete detail of the doc of his document matches the key i mean the keywords in the document profile with keywords in users profiles now we have if the system is computerized Users and document profiles are matched to sift as relevant document for a user and this is sent to him or her through emails, through email, I mean fax, post or couriers. So we have referral service. Now we have the library in this case can direct a user to another library to an alternative source of information which such information is not available in its own library. And we've talked about this earlier on that this service is more of if a library doesn't have the resource of the material and a user is demanding for it the the particular library that does not have the resource or material can refer the user to the other library which has it so with a referral letter which is used to refer the user so that is that for that the reference librarian maintains a list of reference institutions an expert that we regularly update so that's that for that so we have the translation service so libraries offer translation service this is done when users request for a translation of information materials needed from english to indigenous languages that users that users can comprehend now we have the library the library therefore must maintain a list of professional translators that can be easily contacted to render such services so service now this service is particularly needed in scientific libraries with periodicals in foreign languages now we have there are some organizations that also perform translation service e.g european translation center in delft the netherlands we have transition cloud as also to be done in house in house i mean so we have literature research service so we have special libraries normally provide this specialized service to their users in most other libraries such usually 
Users usually do their own literature research. It is easy to provide literature research for users of special libraries because they are usually small in number and their research and information needs are homogeneous. Homogeneous, yeah, they are homogeneous. Probably, uh, yeah, it's, it's identical and stuff like that. So we have literature search is a systematic search for knowledge and information contained in resources of the library on our topic or theme now we have the library catalog is the main source for searching for relevant information or documents either by author titles or subject entries we have a comprehensive comprehensive uh, bibliographic detail of this relevant document is compiled so we have that as that we have our assess assessment and you can go through these and um, you know you can get your answers submitted in the group so and that uh, summary we have in this unit we have learned you we have learned about general library service such as lending service interlibrary loan service and document delivery reservation service reference service current awareness service and user education specialized library service such as literature search selective dissemination of information referral service and translation service such were also explained so as we have that for that so thank you very much i really appreciate guys for sticking to the end this is just the module one we have five more modules to go as this video continues if you are yet subscribed to the channel do well to subscribe comment and share and like as well as this will support and encourage me to do more of this thank you very much i look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial bye bye